It was a cold October night on the island of Sodor. Sir Handel was waiting for his final passenger train before heading back to Crowland's Gate Station. Sir Handel was excited. He usually would be complaining and shit, but fuck, he said, this is a beautiful night and I can't wait to celebrate with all my uh, friends and whatnot. Soon the last of the passengers boarded the coaches, the guard blew his whistle, and Sir Handel puffed cautiously away to the sheds. He heard tale about some uh, events, but then when he got to the viaduct, things got out of hand. Across the viaduct was an unfamiliar engine, but the design and specifications were very similar. It was a small tank engine. He had a very face that was facial features similar to Smudger's, but of course, he had eyes that were familiar to not just Sir Handel, or to Duncan for that matter, but of course, to the narrow gauge railway in itself. The engine stared coldly into Sir Handel's eyes and was eager to speak, and then, in a demonic tone, You guess yourself, your son, yourself, your Then the engine disappeared. It was frightening. Sir Handel was terrified. He was like, what the fuck was that? But then, no one was in sight. Then it happened. The engine was gone. Sir Handel was very terrified once again. Let's get out of here! Screamed Sir Handel as he whistled in alarm and puffed out the viaduct as fast as his wheels could fucking carry him. The passengers were equally terrified. They were screaming in agony. Once off the viaduct, Sir Handel headed back to Crowman's Gate at once. At the yards, everyone was uh, recuperating after a long, hard day's work once again. They were looking forward to uh, all the festivities for the month of October and such. But then Sir Tom and Mr. Percival arrived with, with news. It seems that there's a disturbance at the viaduct. We don't know what, but we're going to look into it at once. Sir Handel threw back a second and then Sir Handel arrived at that moment, screaming in agony. The engine's back! He screamed. Sir Handel, once a couple, told Shabbat and Mr. Percival everything and told in great detail. Everyone was terrified. They could not believe what Sir Handel was saying. Oh shit, not that engine. I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone too, Duncan. But it seems that Thomas 123 left a loophole for another day. However, we will close that loophole. Yes, we will, said Mr. Percival. Lurus assured that we're going to find this engine. He was a mean-spirited one, let's just say that. And one with a track record of devilish intent. I will consult with Brandon and see what he has to say. In the meantime, try to rest up. You all had a very um, interesting night, shall we say. And Stram and Mr. Percival walked away. However, they did not take into account of who was watching from behind the sheds, but that of course was a story for another day. <laughs> 